Skip it up and that up. So Satoru Iwata and I have something in common. We both really dislike the free-to-play concept, or should I say how misleading the free-to-play game concept is. In a Time interview last week, Iwata repeatedly used this phrase, free to start, not free to play. This is what he had to say. I do not like to use the term free to play. I have come to realize that there is a degree of insincerity to consumers with this terminology, since so-called free to play should be referred to more accurately as free to start. The thing that concerns me most is that in the digital age, if we fail to make efforts to maintain the value of our content, there is the high possibility for the value to be greatly reduced as the history of the music industry has shown. On the other hand, I have no intention to deny the free to start model. In fact, depending on how we approach this model, we may May be able to overcome these problems. So I totally agree with him that I hate the free to play terminology with a goddamn passion. And the game I always use as an example, because honestly, it's really the only free to play game that I played on my smart device, my smartphone was Dead Trigger 2. It says to you, okay, it's free to play. Yeah, free to play. Great. And in the beginning, it kind of is. Okay. You know, they, they ask you to buy stuff, but you, you could go through the game and you could go through the first few levels and, and you could play different missions and you're good to go. But then it's like, oh, you need to upgrade your weapon. Then you go to upgrade your weapon. Oh, it's going to take 23 hours to upgrade my weapon. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, you, well, if you give four gold coins, you could get your weapon upgraded immediately. Oh, you don't have four gold coins. Well, you're going to have to go to the Google Play Store, buy some gold coins, because if you don't, we're going to tell you to piss off and we're going to keep milking you dry. And in the end, I just felt like Madfinger Games, the developers behind Dead Trigger 2, were looking for any excuse to keep their hands in my wallet. And it just got really annoying. And in the end, yes, I know there's some examples examples of where free to play is done right most of the games yeah okay they're free to start like Satoru Iwata said but then it's like every two seconds they're looking for a reason for you to buy something with real money and it is a huge huge turnoff and if it keeps up that way where most of the free to play games are like that it's going to hurt them in the end and people are going to get sick of it and free to play games are going to become irrelevant. Now, we know because I talked about it that Nintendo is teaming up with a Japanese development company called DNA to make mobile games. And, you know, as Satoru Iwata said, hey, we're, we're, we're not hating on the free to play model. We're hating on the terminology and how it's deceiving. And he's, he's basically saying that we're going to change the way free to play works. And let's see if they actually do it because you, you could talk a lot, but action speaks louder than words. So let's see if Nintendo working with DNA with their games that are going to come out for mobile devices and PC. Let's see if they actually, you know, work and they make a balanced free to play game that doesn't feel like it's milking you dry. I hope they do, you know, because I do f see where Nintendo is coming from with the free to, with the uh, making games. I should should say for mobile devices because it could bring in people to their hardware and if they make a good game that people feel like okay you know I, I, this is not trying to milk me dry and it's fun to play it could bring people over to actual nintendo devices but like i said actions speak louder than words can they make a balanced quote unquote free to start free to play model We'll have to wait and see. Also, I got to give a huge shout out to my buddy who has a YouTube channel called Double Pulse Productions. He was very nice and he's actually a moderator of my Twitch TV channel, which I just opened up yesterday. It's already at close to 3,000 uh, followers. You can check it out in the description below. I'll also have a link to uh, Double Pulse's YouTube channel below. Check it out. He's a great guy. Very nice, very smart dude, and I strongly recommend that you check out his YouTube channel as well. And I got to give him a huge shout out for doing an excellent job of uh, moderating my Twitch TV channel when I was uh, streaming last night. All right, guys, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.